Here's a workflow for creating some nicely labeled local roads. I've zoomed into a line layer for roads in the UK and this area is Swindon. So let me zoom in a little bit more closely. I'll double click the roads layer and then in symbology, I'll click simple line and I'm gonna change the color to a dark gray and I hit apply. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the thickness of this to nine. But instead of millimeters, I'm gonna use meters at scale and hit apply. And then I'm gonna add another symbol layer and it's gonna be a white line and it's gonna be seven wide, but not millimeters, meters at scale. And that means when I zoom in and out, things will still look good. At the moment though, if I zoom in, you'll see lines get bigger as I zoom in, but there's a weird blocky chunkiness to it. So let's fix that. I'll double click on it. And basically we've got these intermediate lines and we don't want them. So I'll go to advanced and symbol levels. And I'm just gonna tick enable symbol levels. And if I click okay, watch what happens when I click apply. The internal lines are gone, which is great. The next thing I'm gonna do is just hit okay and I'll zoom out a little bit. And because I chose meters at scale, when I zoom out, they get thinner. When I zoom in, they are thicker. I want it to be rounder and smoother as well. So I'm gonna double click on it. In the first of the simple lines, I'm gonna change the join to round, the cap to round. I'll do the same with the other line color, round and round. And then if I hit apply, watch the lines kind of go round and smooth, much nicer. Now let's add some labels. To do this, we'll go to labels and single labels. We've got a name column in our data set, so we'll use that. If I hit apply, it's not great, it's a bit messy. So we need to change placement. Placement is gonna be curved, and then I'll apply that. But we don't want it above the line, we want it on the line. So I'll untick above line after ticking on line. I hit apply. We're getting somewhere now, but I want to make these labels all uppercase. So I'll go to formatting, change the type case to all uppercase and hit apply. The text size is 10 at the moment, but that's 10 points. Remember we use meters at scale for the road thickness. So we're gonna do the same here. So let's make this size six. Okay, great. But there are cases where there's a couple of road names. So station road, station road, station road, station road. We don't want that. So I'll double click and go back to properties. And if I go to rendering and scroll down, I can tick the box that says label every part of multi-part features. But of course we don't want that. What we want to do is merge connected lines to avoid duplicate labels. And if I click okay, now we've only got one label for station road. So that's a really useful feature. If I double click again, let me just go to the, uh, the text color and we'll change that to the same gray that we've got for the road casing. And then I'll click apply. I'll also want my text to be semi bold and I'll apply that. Okay, so now when I zoom out, you can see what happens. The roads get smaller and the text gets smaller. And that's quite useful because we don't have the situation where the text is dominating and overlapping the roads as we zoom out. And if we zoom in to other areas, we can see the roads are nicely labeled. One more thing, if we want to, I'll double click on it and I'll go to placement. We can see it's on curved, but in formatting, if you do want your letters to be spaced out a bit more, you can change the spacing in between letters. Let's say change it to one and click apply. You might find that's too much though. In some cases it can cause things to disappear. So if I reduce that to 0 0.05 and hit apply, maybe 0 0.3 and hit apply, 
it can work quite well. So that's a, a workflow for going from a messy local roads layer to one that is quite stylish and effective at displaying road names at different zoom levels for different sizes. And I think this is uh, quite an effective way to do it. So hopefully you will find that useful.